Hello everybody and welcome back into the Bears Den for another one of those Seeds of the Day video. Um, today, ha, I'm adding to my carnivorous plant garden, which so far includes of a, a whopping single pitcher plant. But, I have ordered some seeds on Amazon. I got half of them, well, last week actually. But they've been sitting in the freezer because they need to uh, have a frost period first. So I am planting some African sundew seeds. Let's get started. So here is the package that I received. Dorsaria capensis? I don't know. But, fly killing plants, carnivorous plants. I think we could use a few of these in the bear's den. See how tiny those seeds are? I'll get the uh, little tiny package out here and we can take a slightly closer look at these. But these are like dust sized seeds. 200 of them in there apparently. Not bad, cost about five bucks. And then it was, uh, I don't know, I think three or four for shipping from Germany. And they made it surprisingly quickly. The back side comes with all kinds of good information about starting it. I have uh, looked over this a few times. I'm trying to do as much of what it says as possible here. Which means that beside it and ready to go we have some nice damp, nothing more than peat moss. Just plain peat moss. I need to plant these on top here apparently because they require the sunlight to germinate. But let's open up that package and take a look at those teeny tiny seeds. So here is another look at what I'm hoping to grow. And here are the seeds. So tiny. Now, I need to put these just on top of the soil and that's going to be interesting. Let me cut open the corner here and try and sprinkle them out or I don't know. I'll cut off the top and I'll try and sprinkle them out. Hope that they make it onto the, the peat moss. Just going to try and wiggle them out of the package here and hope that they make it. Now apparently these may take anywhere from three till seven weeks to sprout and then they're going to be incredibly delicate tiny little things. I watched an update from I believe it was Plants and Things. It's an Ontario gardener who has a bit of a carnivorous indoor garden going. We just try and knock the rest of these out and we'll carry on. Well, it looks like the seeds are at least out of here. Whether or not they made it actually onto my moistened peat moss, I don't know. It's going to have to be a hope on that one. Still a few in there, perhaps. Try wiggling those out. I don't know, maybe a paintbrush? Anywho, so now I need to make sure that this stays moist and these don't get covered and so I'm gonna grab a freezer bag quickly label that with the date and then I guess uh, seal this puppy up and then I guess I'll just throw this over here on the one shelf because it needs the light to germinate we'll just point that maybe a little more directly at the bag three to seven weeks is an awful long time to wait for seeds but here's to hoping yeah, personally, I prefer seeds that germinate a lot faster than that, you know. I'm not, uh, I'm not the best one for patience in the gardening community, but I guess this will help me learn a little bit of patience. And if they sprout, then my plan is, assuming I've still got these stupid aphids and mites, because I don't think they're going anywhere, my plan is I'm just going to take a paintbrush, I'm going to hold up my plants, and I'm going to, like, paint the uh, little bugs into my little planter there with my sundews and they should get all the nutrients they need from eating all those little sap sucking blankety blanks so it's a long-term plan but I'm hoping to grow these peppers for next year and kind of just continually indoors so if this will help with my uh, pest problem then great also I have found Someone out of, uh, I think it was Fort Langley in the greater Vancouver area. Everything's back in BC now. Couldn't find anything in BC when I lived there, but now that I live in Manitoba, everything's in BC. Oh yeah. Cruel irony, this life, I tell you what. But, <clears throat> anyway, I found someone there who does shipments of ladybugs in Canada. I can get a, I think it's like 250 of them for under 
20 bucks. So it seems to me that's probably well worth it. Um, a bit of, I got a question for you guys though, right? Like I've got this diatomaceous earth all over my plants. Is that going to kill the ladybugs too? Like should I dust everything off and wash them all off before I order ladybugs? Or should I just leave it and see what happens? Let me know in the comments below if you think these plants will work for my pest war issues. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should brush off the diatomaceous earth before I go get any ladybugs. Otherwise, yeah, thank you all for joining me today on this super quick seeds of the day. Planting these African sundew. I'm not even going to try and pronounce their Latin name, but uh, sticky-leaved, bug-eating plants. Mmm. If I can't eat it, at least it can eat something else. Still waiting on the Venus flytrap seeds, so we'll do those when they get here. And, uh, yeah, otherwise, I will see you guys on Wednesday and or Sunday, depending on when you tune in next. Take care until then, everybody. Bye.